guys, it's Kevin again, and in this video, I'm going to review this movie, Be for Vendetta. Um, this was a movie that I heard was actually really, really good, and it always seemed like an interesting movie. I actually thought because the costumes, it took place in the past, I didn't realize it took place in the future. Um, and I didn't realize the plot until uh, I watched it, and um, I heard really, really good reviews about it, and... Um, once I saw the trailer, I really want to see it, especially because of the creepy poem. Remember, remember the 5th of November. I mean, you, you, you have to remember, remember, remember the 5th of November. Um, so yeah, so I just finished watching it, and I gotta say, V for Vendetta is amazing. Not only was it a great action movie, but it had a really good story, and I wouldn't even call it an action movie. I'd call it a thriller. It definitely is more of a thriller or a drama. It is not really an action movie because there's just so much that happens in it that does not make it an action movie. Um, Alright, let's just get to the plot, which the plot in here is really a best part of the movie. Basically, it takes place in the year 2020, which um, honestly is not that far from now. We're in 2013 right now, so it's not that far from 2020, I mean. We have 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. We got uh, eight years. We have seven years up, and that'll be 2020. And basically, the whole world uh, is at war, including uh, Britain, and they're kind of under this totalitarian society. It's kind of like the 40s again, where um, there are prisons for certain people. Um, it's just like Hitler almost, with like the Jews and homosexuals and... You know, like, what Hitler did? Yeah, that's pretty much what's going on here. Well, V, basically, V is a character that wants to try to stop all of this. And he's considered a criminal right now. He's on the loose. And, um, he's on the loose, basically. He's killing all these people. And, um, well, he wants to help out Evie, who, who wants to try to stop it as well. Um, because something, I think they killed her family. And, um, basically... He wants to try to stop it and take action and try to stop the whole war and the whole government and everything. So yeah, that's pretty much what it is. But it's a lot more than that and I really enjoyed it. One of the reasons I really enjoyed it were the performances. Um, I think I first want to talk about the guy who played V, Hugo Weaving, because this guy, I loved this guy in the movie. I mean, he was so great. He was just fantastic as V. He was perfect. Um, he was definitely the best part of the movie because that's what V should sound like. And the cool thing about V is that, you know how like in the Family Opera you have the mask for the Family Opera? But in, in, but in the Family Opera, Christine takes off the mask. Well, in this, he never takes off the mask, so his true identity is never revealed. And he looks like that the entire movie. Yeah. So that's pretty much what he looks like the entire movie. Um, so yeah. But basically, um, I really loved him because he, he's very charismatic. And one of the coolest things about V is whenever he goes in a fight, he kind of outsmarts the people and shows them that he's smarter than them. And he kind of just gives all these really cool speeches. And that was really cool. That's how this is not an action movie. Because you're going to think there's like, oh, he's a, he's a serial killer. Not really, there's not, he doesn't kill a lot of people. He's basically just out for the people who want to do this government and everything. And that was really good. He was just the best part of the movie. He was fantastic. I mean, I could talk for hours about him because he was so good in the movie. And every time he spoke, I just was so into his scene. Then we have Natalie Portman as Evie, who was perfect. She did a really good job at having an accent and... I'm sure a lot of people probably think Natalie Portman, um, having an accent. Well, she's fantastic in this. I mean, I think this was one of the first movies that really showed her range. I mean, I think, let me look at some of the other movies she did before this, but if I'm not certain, I think this was one of her first, like, really big movies. I mean, she did quite a few movies before this, but mostly they were just, like, um, romantic comedies and, um, Star Wars. I mean, she didn't... I mean, Padme was an okay role, but I think this was a really first movie where she really showed she had a big range, and um, I think she was fantastic in the movie. She just is really, really good. I mean, in the beginning of the movie, when she's Evie, she really doesn't, she's kind of afraid of everything, but 
one of my favorite scenes in the movie basically has to do with this girl who wrote this letter, Valerie. And, um, basically, Valerie is this lesbian character who was killed in the prison because homosexuals are not allowed in the prison. I said it's just like what happened with Hitler in the 1940s is basically happening now. And this basically... Um, gets Evie very upset because she really feels very empowered by this woman, and by this part of the movie, she's willing to do anything to stop it, including getting her head shaved, which was incredible to see, and that's just an incredible scene. She goes from this to this in a matter of seconds in the movie, and it's fantastic, and I just thought that was really good, and she just had, again, she had such incredible range, and she was just fantastic in the movie. Um... And uh, those are basically the main ones. You do have these two um, detectives trying to stop him from um, from doing what he wants to do, from making this revolution, from stopping this revolution. Um, but but basically, um, they were pretty good too. I thought they were interesting. One of the interesting things is, is one of the detectives is a homosexual, and he's not telling anybody because, um, again, it's not allowed in this society which was very interesting to see, and that was very interesting to see how that all played out. The other thing, as I said, this really isn't classified as an action movie because there's a lot of drama. Well, because of that, the action scenes are definitely very well done. Anytime there's a kill, it's very well done, and I thought that was, that was also really well done. And, um, yeah, I love the ending of the movie as well. Basically, the ending of the movie, you basically see, um... All these different faces and we kind of see well basically V dies and um, I liked how they had a uh, relationship together and how you could tell they were gonna have one but they just waited till the end of the movie and then once they have the relationship V dies but then basically it ends with Evie saying how he was all of us and basically the message of the movie is if there is a problem in your world don't hesitate go out and do something about it it's not like to blow, but I mean, don't do what V did. V blowed up buildings. Don't, don't do, don't go blowing up the, um, don't go blowing up your, uh, neighbor's, uh, front yard. Don't go doing that. I'm not, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the message here is if there's something wrong, um, with the world and you're not happy with it, go out and do something about it. Don't hesitate. Don't feel scared because you can do something about it. And, um, the ending of the movie is just really, really great and intense, and it's really awesome. And, um, the final person that V kills, um, is, that was an awesome scene. As, again, he outsmarts them, and he just had such a great speech there. Another one of the best scenes is earlier in the movie, when basically V has this tape, and he basically says how, if any, not this tape, but this DVD, and it's this DVD that's shown, um, and basically he says, if anyone wants to join me in this revolution, and basically the whole thing with Remember, Remember the 5th of November is that on the 5th of November, that's when the revolution happens, and the, uh, the detectives are trying to stop it. So, V for Vendetta, I highly, highly recommend you check out this movie. It's definitely not an action movie, it's definitely more of a drama, and I really, really enjoyed that. Alright, so that's it for my review of V for Vendetta. I really hope you enjoyed it, and, um... Yeah, that's it for my review. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next video. Okay, bye.